Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here. January 25th, 2020. First review of the year, other than the, uh, the Mexico reviews I did. Been sick. Oh, getting better now. After our trip to Mexico, I ended up with a cold, sore throat. Freaking pink eye in one eye. I know. What adult gets pink eye? I, I don't know, but it cleared up. It was hell. So feeling a little bit better. Um, got some time now sitting in a hotel room in, in Kingston, Ontario. Um, snowing like a bugger out there, so eh, why work when you can do reviews? Today, this was sent to me, Beef Goulash, by AJ Ballman. He also sent me the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, the Christmas dinner freeze-dried ration. I just picked them up uh, last week, so that's going to have to wait till next Christmas, I guess. But uh, beef goulash, we're going to check that out tonight. It comes from Minotaur MRE, Black Dog Bob's company. Um, I also got two big boxes of, of stuff from him that I'd ordered uh, before Christmas. He had that big 40% off sale. And, I, yeah, I, I went a little bit overboard and huge-ass boxes. Now... I'm sure you guys know I give Bob a hard time about his damn grape jelly. Um, we're just playing around with that. I met Bob this summer. He's a great guy. A um, lot of respect for him and his company. Anytime there's an issue with your order, they fix it. Like, there's no questions asked. They, there's no problem. Um, and uh, he actually threw in a bunch of strawberry jam for me. I guess to shut me up so I'd quit whining about the grape jelly. So, thanks Bob. Um, I, uh, I seen it in there and I thought, I don't remember ordering any strawberry jam. And I'm looking through the box and I look at my order sheet and it wasn't on there. And I thought, okay, they snuck some in there. And then I noticed later there was a, a card from Bob. So, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we will... Um, Oh, actually, one other thing that happened. Um, I'd ordered one of those contest rations that he had and uh, pulled out this bad boy. Hide the number there. So, I'm going on a shopping spree. Yeah. I don't know what I'll get. I already have half the store, I think. But, uh, yeah. So... Let's get into the ration. This is a brand new one. Beef goulash is uh, new to the MREs as of 2019. So I think it's the same exact main. But, um, oh, and also I'm gonna open this with a peelable seal. I keep bumping this table. It's not very sturdy. Um, Dennis78382, uh, he kind of called me out on saying, you know, I'm giving people with arthritis a hard time because they can't open these sissy little seals and, you know, trying to make me feel bad. But you guys all know I'm talking about Tracy Phillips. He does not have arthritis. He's a mechanic. He uses his hands every day. He's probably got stronger hands than any of us. And he can't, like, okay, maybe not with these fingers. Get your thumb in there. Come on, Tracy. Just one time. They have all the uh, the stuff on the outside, what's in here, but we're not going to look at that because that uh, ruins the surprise. Dump it all out, make sure everything's out of there. See what we got. Beef goulash, and that is, that's actual MRE beef goulash. This isn't uh, MRE Star, which I'm not a real fan of, so this will probably be pretty good. You get rice with that. Flameless ration heater. Applesauce cake. Nice. I'm hoping there's something to go with that. Salted almonds. And our uh, basic pack. We'll go from the basic pack. We're going to get out our knife. This is a brand new knife I got. A little smaller than the one I normally carry. It costs 50 bucks. Fleet Farm. Uh, the one I normally have is probably an inch longer. But... I was doing a bit of flying over the holidays and I had to leave that in Ontario so I had to go buy a new knife. This is a buck knife and uh, actually it's got a pretty good blade on it. What do you have to tell? Wheat snack bread, peanut butter, grape jelly. But we're sending that off and we're going to use our strawberry which Bob gave us. 
Nice. Cream cheese icing, that's going to go great with the uh, applesauce cake. Sweet and condensed milk. Any guesses what I'm going to do with that? Uh, coffee, cream, or sugar. Pink lemonade and a lemon and lime on the floor. And then you got salt, pepper, and a wet nap. So we're going to heat this up, get it onto a tray. See how it is. So what do you think we should do with our sweet and condensed milk? AJ knows. You got to knead this. It gets a little bit, a uh, little bit tough at the top and a little bit tough at the bottom. You don't want it to be too lumpy. If you guys haven't checked out AJ's channel, take a look. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link below if I can figure that out again. Um, he's a very active member of the community. He's always like the first guy to comment on everybody's videos he's he's always there a uh, great supporter and uh yeah he does does ration reviews and he does pizza reviews and i mean who doesn't like a pizza review right so yeah check him out but first things first look at that cheers It was all one shot, too. Woo! See, if you don't pay attention, you get a big glob there. And not so much there. And there's our almonds. So, I think first thing, yeah. No, first thing we'll try the almonds. These um, don't look salted or anything. Package says they're salted and they taste salted, but you can't see it. Cleanse the old palate with uh, lemonade. Pretty good. Yeah, those almonds, they're just regular old almonds. No, uh, no age on them or anything. They taste perfectly fresh like they were packed, you know, two weeks ago, which they probably were. I don't know. Pretty fresh stuff anyway. Y'all know I love my peanut butter and jam sandwich. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And since we don't have any napkins, we're just going to use the hotel towel. I don't know if this ration had a napkin or not. I don't think it did. Oh well. So yeah, there's that. Alright, let's start heat it up real nice. Give it a good mix. Tear it twice. Ooh, that smells good. What does that smell like? It smells like something else. But better. Shoot. Smells fantastic. We'll get our rice. And our applesauce cake. Ooh, that's real nice. Soft. Don't eat that thing. If you got a kid you don't like, I mean, you can feed him that, but. And to go on the cake. All right, so this here's the goulash. I don't know what goulash is. I've never eaten a goulash. Um, there's, I don't know, chunks of stuff. That might be a tomato, hopefully not a pepper. That'd be beef, since it says beef goulash. I don't know what this green stuff is. I already don't like that, though. Um, yeah, like rice, maybe. Beef, tomatoes, I honestly don't know. And a lot of spices. White rice and half sauce cake with cream cheese. Let's dig into this. We're gonna get right into the goulash. We got a big chunk of beef. 
something else. I really hope it's tomato. I love tomato. Hate onion. I don't know how to make shit focus. This is really good. It is. It's beef, tomato, rice, and whatever spices. The only thing I can compare it to, which is something else that I'd never had before, was the um, chicken and sausage jambalaya from an IMP. So is a goulash like a jambalaya? I don't know. But that's the only flavor I can compare it to, and I like it. I like it a lot. The beef and the tomatoes are probably most present in this. Um, for guys like Karsten Michael who doesn't like rice, you'd probably be fine with this. It, it's there, but it's, you know, not bothersome at all. It's just kind of hidden in there. However, Karsten, this would probably bother you a lot. And yeah, that's just plain white rice, but there's enough sauce in this uh, goulash that you just throw that rice right in there and uh, yeah, be a good filling meal. I'm not gonna lie, this goulash is one of my new favorites. That is good stuff. The rice, it's rice. Like I said, throw it in with the goulash, you'd be fine. Um, we got our cake and icing here. Yeah. That cake is it's pretty good on its own. Not that I just had any on its own. I haven't in a long time, but um, you just put icing on there, and it just takes it to a whole another level. It's awesome. I bought a whole bunch of those icing packs from Bob. My last order, and I'll probably be getting more in my next order. Same with the sweet condensed milk. So that was menu 10 from Minotaur MRE Beef Goulash. Thank you, AJ. Everybody go check out his channel. Uh, awesome dude. Uh, also, uh, yeah, check out Minotaur MRE, MRE Nation. Um, Bob's a good guy. He's done a lot for the community. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have had the meetup last year and wouldn't have got to meet uh, a lot of my new friends here. I think there's another meeting going on and uh, or meet up going on in the middle of March. TJ and I are kind of thinking we m might try to get there. I'm not sure <clears throat> if that's going to happen. Um, it's on the last weekend of the spring break, so it might be kind of tough to get back and and whatnot. But uh, if we can make it, we'll be there and uh, let you guys know when we know. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, see you next time.